<sighs> I'm just about to say bye. Gosh, I don't know why I'm filming this, but um, I guess it's part of the vlog. Um, but I'm just having last cuddles, feeling really guilty and really emotional. And um, I just need to go because otherwise I'm just gonna keep crying. Anyway, car has arrived and I'm all packed up. And I love you and I'm sorry. So I am um, in the car on the way to LAX to catch my flight. Um, Verona and I I am very excited that was an emotional goodbye though it's the first time I've left Honor and I do feel like it's pretty soon she's um, not quite three months um, but as my mum says guilt is a very pointless emotion and she won't really know I'm gone and I've pumped loads of milk so she's gonna be well fed um, by me uh, which is good and you know Mackenzie's an amazing dad his mum is flying in as well to um, to her first visit so it's perfect timing because she can help um, but it's just a very strange feeling that I've never felt before and that is just like a mix of um, sad and guilt um, and I don't know but I am it's like heart versus head, so my head is actually very excited about this trip. I'm going with Calzedonia, the amazing um, swimwear and tights brand. They make all sorts of stuff. Um, and they have got their huge runway show in Verona, which is a city I've always wanted to go to since I um, studied Othello in school and loved the play. Um, and of course, Romeo and Juliet is set there, so you can actually go and see Juliet's balcony, allegedly where um, she shouted, Romeo, Romeo, where for art thou, Romeo? So I'm very excited to see that and, um, and just check it out. I haven't been on a plane for ages because being pregnant, I, I think the last trip I did was to New York when I was about six or seven months pregnant. So it feels like a while. The other fun thing of being a breastfeeding new mum is that I've got my pump packed and I'm gonna have to do that on the plane and um, before the plane and get up in the night in Italy as well um, because you have to keep your milk flow going um, otherwise it messes things up for when you come back and want to keep feeding so that's gonna be interesting but one of my girlfriends who she went to Toronto recently from LA and she hadn't charged up her pump so it, it didn't work and there was no socket on the plane to charge it so learning from her I've literally got so many backups I bought a manual pump um, which I didn't know exists another mum told me about that and um, three plug converters in case because one of them is a bit dodgy doesn't always work so so I should be all right um, but the saddest thing is and I feel like fellow mums can relate to this otherwise it just sounds a bit random uh, is that I have to pump and dump so you have to get rid of the milk because I'm not freezing it I'm not going to be able to get it back to her in time and it's like it's gold it's liquid gold so that is really sad to me so I'm going to have to pour it away um, but anyway sorry if that's TMI but um, I'm super emotional at the moment and I just am going to get a large glass of red wine I made it through check-in actually quite excited now and it's been so long since I've been through security and everything it kind of made me feel like the old days. Um, it's echoing because I'm in the loo um, and I'm about to pump. I'll spare you that footage, but you know, there's nowhere to put anything or hold end onto anything. This could be interesting. So I did it, just squatted on the floor of the loo for 12 minutes and um, that hurts. And now I'm washing everything up bit by bit. So I'm trying to be good about it. Even brought my own brush. So yeah, interesting, very interesting. Oh, I do not look pretty. I made it to Munich, which is my layover, and um, that was a, it was a good flight, but I didn't really sleep because uh, again, pumping through every three hours on board a flight in a tiny little loo when people are waiting outside that loo is quite stressful. So um, I've got massive respect for mummies who do that now. So it is raining, but just come through the. Um, City walls. I've just walked into my cute room 
The hotel is an old palazzo and there's a nice platter of fruit, which I always love, and a box I've already gone through, sorry I couldn't wait, um, full of tights and cute bikinis for the summer. Pretty flowers, classical music on, and I'm on the top floor, so I love these beautiful old narrow streets. I can't wait to explore, even in the rain, I don't care. Here's Kirsty. We've got a lot to catch up on. We have indeed. Yes, we have. Nice outfit, Keeks. Oh, thanks, Zara. I'm doing a similar Ooh. leather um, culottes that are really old, actually, and boots because it's raining, unfortunately. It is raining. They are gorgeous. Is it too much leather? I feel like I should get on a motorbike. But I'm in Italy, so it's fine. Très chic. Maybe I should swap the jacket. Mm. What do you reckon? Nah, let's be twinning. Let's go. And here it is. The famous. Opera, the arena. My mum and dad went to the opera here once. I wish we had time to do that. So we're just having a little wander around and going to dinner. And it stopped raining, which is perf. I'm about ready. Yeah, we have, because we're English. Da da! Singing in the rain! Yes, Kiki! Hi, Kicks! Oh. <laughs> So I'm reunited with Louise and she's already got me hanging out of windows taking photos. Shall we have a look? Hello. How are you? Buongiorno. 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 How about a little bit of Romeo? Yes. Romeo. 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 Where's Ro uh, Romeo? Any Actually, takers? Any takers? Actually, we should go None. to um, Juliet's real balcony. Yes. To get this. So let's do that. Far. Okay. That's exciting. Romeo done. We, we need more time here to discover. And, and we also have to go to Zara because in Europe it's much better and cheaper. <laughs> Caledonia, that's who we're here with. How exciting. We've got their big uh, runway show tonight, which I'm very excited about. Actually, I think I'm wearing those tights but not in that position. Found it almost. Here's her house, the back of her house. And this is very exciting. Oh, look at all the love messages. I'm gonna write one from Mackenzie in honor. Although I suppose that's technically graffiti and vandalism. Oh, I'm such a literature geek. This is really like absolute heaven for me. This is one of the most exciting things I've ever seen on my travels. I'm geeking out. Wow. These are all the love notes. And, oh, apparently this is love gum. Which is kind of gross, but whatever. Love padlocks. And there is her balcony. So we're inside the Capulet's house and this is the bed used in the 1968 movie. And it's Juliet's bed. And that is Romeo's outfit, which Kirsty just said Mackenzie could pull off. Especially this old, uh, yes, cod piece, is that what you call it? Kirsty wants to find a fridge magnet with the Pope on it. But there, there aren't any. I met him in Rome and I should have bought one there. Well, met is a strong word. I was within 20 feet of him. Yeah, you, to be fair, she was. I he saw was the photo. The but I think, yeah, he was on the Pope Mill, but I don't think you actually met him, did you, Kiki? No, let's see. Just got to lunch. <laughs> Mickey's going to try her first Aperol. Cheers. Cheers, everyone. Cheers. Okay, first course Alaskan crab with a side of guacamole. My main course, spaghetti with lobster. This looks absolutely delicious. Just topping things off with the zero calorie dessert. Yes, please. I'm gonna go for one of these. Thank you. The amphitheater in all her resplendent glory. She's like a baby coliseum. Not really that baby. Gosh, that's incredible. Kirst, I need you to be the oh, um, tour guide. Here we have the Castle Vecchio Museum. 
and on the other side is the Ponte del Casabuccio bridge. Well, Ponte means bridge, so you don't need to say it twice. Well, I didn't know that. I'm just a very, I'm that annoying person. It's okay, it's, it's, the, it's the only word I really know. I mean, if I want to host a TV show, a nerdy historical documentary TV show where I'm your tour guide because I just want to know everything about what I'm looking at, but I don't. <laughs> we can make it up. <laughs> Look up there though. I mean, what's going on there? Clock tower. Okay, fair enough. Wow. This is just so romantic and gorgeous. I'll stay. What about Mackenzie? Oh yeah, and Honor. And baby Honor. <laughs> Come on. Oh. Still got it, still got it. Go on, Mum. Up you get. Oh, God, Go on. Oh. Lovely. So, Kirsty wants to buy some pasta. What did you want? Rigatoni. And how did you say it? Have you got rigatoni, please? And the man, the man was like, no. What? Okay. And then I said, Rigatoni. And he, he was said, like, Oh, oh Rigatoni. One nil. <laughs> Rigatoni. Rigatoni. <laughs> See? Rigatoni. Little Tony. 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 No photos. Oh, he wants a picture around here. Oh. <laughs> what? Oh, hi. Happy birthday. Oh, the boss. The director. The boss. Oh. It's very, very boss. Okay. I'm buying some ricotta. Oh my god. Stop being such a tourist. Oh god. Oh god. It started it. Off we go. I missed FaceTiming on us, so hopefully we get to do it in a little bit. I'm going to go and have my hair and makeup done somewhere else, but the bottom half is ready. We're nearly ready. I'm just doing some waves in my hair for the big Cromwell show with Calzadona. Allora, tu fai davanti, io faccio il dietro, se no viene diverso. Here we go. I'm getting wet. My butt down, I can't keep going. He's like, say, Kirsty, you have to see the back of this dress. This is butt gold.
it's 3 a.m. Um, my flight home is at 6 a.m. As you can hear from my voice, I'm a bit tired. Um, but it has been the most incredible whirlwind trip to Verona. I've met so many Plain Jane fans, both just out on the street and at the show last night in the after party. It's been really good for my confidence to kind of go out again on my own, travel on my own, um, but I miss Honor like crazy and Mackenzie and I can't wait to get back to her. So last night um, he was sending me photos and videos and I was it was almost making me teary so I was like, okay, time to go. Um, but I think I got four hours sleep last night, five hours a night before, and four hours a night before on the plane, so actually less than I get at home being a new mum, which is something else. And I'm quite proud of myself. I know I keep banging on about the pumping thing, but I've been doing it every three to four hours here, round the clock, and it takes a good 20 minutes. So, um, and you have to sanitize everything. So that, those are all the pieces that go into it. And then you have this pump that's like So I've squatted on bathroom floors, airplane, toilet floors, um, the hotel, bathroom. Um, and I think I've uh, had enough of that now. So I'm looking forward to actually just feeding her, not pumping. I need to learn a bit more Italian next time. Pretty jazzy for 5 a.m. It's not even 5 a.m. <laughs> really? No. Yeah. I made it onto the plane. Um, it's pouring rain outside and I am actually quite emotional about going home. I made it back to LAX. It was a good flight, although I watched some sad movies which made me cry loads. It's too emotional right now. And I cannot get home fast enough. I'm so excited. I just walked in the door and I, um, I went, well, I kissed you and then I went straight upstairs. I got about 10 seconds. And uh, burst into tears and then tried to not cry because I wanted her to see me smiling and she gave me a big smile. I'm so happy, I'm never letting go. I love you. Did you miss mommy? <laughs>